Even if you're using a very large display, you can get a considerable advantage by putting more than one display to use. Lightroom enables you to utilize two monitors while working with your images, which can be incredibly helpful. In this lesson, I'll demonstrate how to use multiple monitors in Lightroom and some of the ways you might put this capability to use. The controls for the secondary monitor can be found on the window menu under secondary display, but most of these options can also be found elsewhere within the interface, so in most cases, I wouldn't use the menu to access these controls. You can also use keyboard shortcuts for many of these commands, which are listed on the menu, which is probably the primary reason I would ever even go to this menu in the first place, namely to see what those keyboard shortcuts are. To me, the most convenient way to access the multiple monitors capability is to use the controls found at the top left of the film strip. The first button relates to the main monitor, your primary display. By clicking on this button, you can see a list of options related to the display on this primary monitor. You'll probably recognize all of these controls as being settings you can find elsewhere throughout Lightroom. In this case, I'm happy with the current configuration of the main window, so I'll leave those options alone. To the right is a button that controls the second display. If I click on this button, the second display will be enabled, and I'll be able to see my images on the second display. I can configure the second display by using the controls that are found within this window. Of course, in some situations, you might prefer to hide the top and bottom panels that are available in the second display, in which case you'd likely want to use the controls that are available for changing the display settings right here on the film strip. Simply right-click on the second display button, and you'll be able to access the various controls on a pop-up menu. Show will obviously show or hide the secondary monitor display. And full screen will determine whether that display is shown full screen, as you would imagine, or if it's shown in a separate window that you can resize and move around. In most cases, I certainly prefer to work in full screen mode, but if you have multiple things going on at once, you may prefer to not operate in full screen mode for your second display. You can also choose an option to display a second monitor preview. This will open something of a picture-in-picture -picture display that you can move around, and you can also use this control to change the display on your secondary display. This is convenient, but in most cases, I think it's just as easy to use the other controls available to you without the distraction of this additional window floating around. You can close this second monitor preview by clicking the X in the top right corner. In this case, I'll use the various controls available directly in the second display rather than these options here, but be aware that there are multiple places where you can access these controls. Going back to my second display, I'll enable both of my panels so that I can work directly with those panels in order to change the configuration. At the moment, I have the grid display up, so I can scroll through and select a different image using my secondary display. Notice that the image updates in the loop view on my primary display. I could also switch to the loop view so that I can view a single image on my secondary display. Keep in mind that this would normally be used for evaluating an image, and for most users, you probably don't have both monitors color calibrated. As a result, you'll want to make color critical decisions using your primary display in most cases. Having said that, we do have some controls available for the loop display. The normal option will cause the loop view on your second monitor to behave in the manner you expect. When you select a different image, that image is updated on the second display. You can also choose the live option, which will cause the loop view to update based on which image you mouse over. As you mouse over an image, that image will be reflected on the secondary display. While this could certainly be helpful in certain situations, in most cases I find it a bit distracting. Another option is to use the locked display. This will cause the currently selected image to be displayed until you unlock the display by switching to the normal or live view. In this display, when I switch among other images on the primary display, you will still be seeing the locked image on the second display. This is great for comparative purposes, but again, keep in mind that both displays may not be color calibrated. We can also access the compare, survey, and slideshow displays directly within the second monitor. These can be helpful in a variety of situations, and the behavior is essentially exactly the same as you would find when using the compare and survey views of the loop view or the slideshow preview in the slideshow module. Generally speaking, I find it most helpful to use the grid display on the second monitor. We can control the thumbnail size as desired, making it easier to navigate around the various images 
depending on how many images you need to sort through. And then we can choose an image to cause that image to be selected on the primary display. One of the key advantages to working in this way is that we can maximize our use of the available screen real estate. For example, if I was optimizing this image in the develop module, I could hide most of the panels in the primary display, revealing only the right panel so that I can work on optimizing the image without consuming a lot of space with other elements of the interface. In fact, I could even switch to full screen mode and hide the toolbar so that I can really make the most use of this display. I've been using multiple monitors for as long as I can remember, and I can't imagine ever giving up the benefits it provides. Even with a very large display, there is still a benefit to compartmentalizing certain items between two displays. As a result, I'm very grateful that Lightroom provides support for multiple displays and gives us tremendous flexibility in using and configuring that display.